installment of guides and their gear where us as Royal Malawan guides shed a little bit of light on what we carry in our camera cases which might make your decision a little bit easier on what to bring or what to buy when you come on your next safari. I think we'll start, because you can see I've got everything laid out in front of me, and we'll start with my lens box, which might often be overlooked, but it is, a, for me personally, a vitally important piece of equipment in my, in my arsenal. In terms of keeping your lens safe, we all know that camera equipment is very expensive, and traveling a long distance, you don't want it to get damaged or broken, out on a safari it is often rainy, it is often dusty, so on a rainy day if you don't want to use your camera don't worry about wrapping it up in a blanket or anything like that, just put it back in the box and you know that it's going to be safe for the next time that you want to use it again. Next up we'll have a look at the camera that I use and I chose a Canon 80D as my uh, camera of choice and the reason why I chose this camera is because I prefer a lot more of the videography side of things than the photography side. Initially when I was shopping around I was looking for a mid-range, mid-price range DSLR camera with a very good uh, videography function and this is what I was recommended and been using this camera for about two years now and still extremely happy with what it provides me. Um, some of the nifty functions that I do enjoy about it is the flip screen which you can maneuver in almost any direction so no matter how you are filming you can always see what is happening on the screen which makes it quite nice for getting different angles. Also the fact that it is a touch screen so you don't have to worry about using any functions or buttons on the camera itself. I think the touch screen makes it a lot quicker and a lot easier to use the camera as well. The lens that came with the camera is the standard 18 135 lens. But what is very nice about this lens is especially for videography is that it does have a built-in image stabilizer which makes an enormous difference in terms of avoiding those shaky videos. Um, I've tested it quite a bit and even as I'm driving the vehicle trying to film something as you are driving the difference that the image stabilizer makes is enormous so I think the image stabilizer in terms of the lens is probably for me the biggest bonus um, in terms of the filming as well another piece of equipment that I have in the box that I enjoy a lot is what is called a dead cat or or simple terms, uh, just an external microphone which plugs into your camera. So they also come in various shapes and sizes. This is probably by far one of the, the cheaper ones, definitely one of the smaller ones. But for what I do and for what somebody does coming on a safari, this is absolutely perfect. And it enhances your video quality 10, 20 times in terms of how close you can get something like a lion roaring is just accentuated so much more with an external microphone. Um, somewhere else where it makes a big difference is if the wind is blowing. If you've taken a video on your cell phone, especially while moving, you'll always notice the, the noise that the wind creates which can completely ruin a video. This fluffy dead cat that slips over the microphone prevents that so you would barely even notice that the wind is blowing. So the dead cat is something that I really enjoy and it does make a massive difference to the quality of the videos. I think last but not least, uh, the star of my show would be the fixed 400 Canon lens. What makes this lens slightly different to other fixed 400 Canon lenses is the fact that this is the diffractive optics range and that is noticeable by the green ring that the lens has got. Um, if you look at the Canon L series lenses, they would normally have a red ring. I think one of the biggest differences that suited me there was the price. Uh, the DO lens is probably, if I have to guess, about half the price of the L series lens, which for me 
obviously makes a big difference. Um, secondly, the f-stop is a it's a f-stop four, which works perfectly fine for me. I'm very happy with it. The size of the lens also makes quite a big difference. If you look at the size of the L series Fix 400, it is a lot bigger and a lot heavier. This lens is very easy to maneuver. Um, if you are filming something for a long period of time, it is easy to, to keep stable and prevent uh, the, the shaky videos. I think if I have to single out a negative about this lens for me personally is the fact that it is a fixed lens. So for subjects that are too close, the, the lens does not work. So for me, something nice would be to invest in a 7200 lens as well, which I can use if, if the subjects are not in range for this guy. All in all, that is what I have in my box. Um, I hope it helps and we look forward to seeing you next time.